Hey friends, so I'm going to try and do the quickest version I can of weaving with a bag and sticks. Um, here's a couple of examples. You can look closely at the pictures. The first thing you want to do is make sure you get a stick that has a fork in it. Then you want to get two different sort of contrasting color bags. I think I like the softer ones better than the hard shiny ones, but I'm going to try the contrast between the two. I'm going to use my green one to wrap around my stick. So what you want to do is cut off the handles, make sure your scissors are on your hand the right way. And I'm going to make this into a really long um, piece that's going to go around and around and around. So I'm just not, I'm cutting around the bag and I don't want to cut my strip off. So I'm going to look ahead and I'm going to cut my strip about the length of my finger and see how I'm going around. Try and get a nice pair of scissors that slides if you have them. And this is an extra activity, but I find it's worth um, hanging out and doing and sitting outside or sitting even um, if you have to watch a show that you don't exactly love. So you're not really allowed to have a device or an iPad or be distracting. Sometimes it makes some things when you're sitting around a lot more fun um, than just sitting still. It's sort of like a craft fidget. So keep cutting this bag all the way around. And I got to do this video as quickly as I can. So don't worry if you struggle with this, if it takes a bunch of bags. These are just all the bags that we save over time. And um, make sure you ask um, whoever's home you're in um, before you repurpose something or recycle something that belongs to somebody else. Because just like with the newspapers that we used for the torn weaving, um, you want to make sure it's okay for you to repurpose something that belongs to somebody else. Maybe it's a bag that they were planning on using for something else. All right, so now what you should have is a really, really long stretch of bag, okay? So this, here's the handle. This is gonna wrap around. So you wanna start at the end of your bag um, and tie it down here. And don't worry about tying it too tight because you might have to undo it. And then you're just going to wrap it around your stick like this. Not too tight, not too loose. Sometimes the little knobs are helpful and sometimes they make things more difficult. So just go around, around, around. And then we're gonna cut our contrasting color bag for um, weaving it through. And the weaving it through is the same concept of under, over, under, over. Okay, so um, that's some extra bag. I might need more, so I like to leave like a little bit of a tail, but that might be hard with that dragging around. So I don't know, I'll just cut it like there. So I have a little bit of a flag, but in case I need more, I've got it. Then with this bag, the contrasting color, the trick is, because this is going to weave through, right? So I'm going to go the long way. I'm just going to cut off the bottom. Oh, see, I don't want those seams because they don't weave very nicely. And then I'm just gonna cut, that was bad. Let me cut off that seam. I'm just gonna cut strips. Sometimes your scissor slides wrong. Again, about the length of my finger. See that? And I cut the end. So I just want lots of strips about the length of my finger and long enough to weave through this thing. Um, I'm gonna check a couple of these and see if they're long enough this way, because I might have to turn my bag the other way. This one with the handle is a little longer. And the trick is, we wanna go under, 
over, under, over, or over, under. It doesn't matter what you start with as long as you alternate. And don't forget, on this project, what's weird is you have a back row. So on this first row, you're actually over, under, over, under. You're actually not going to see the front or back row at all until you start weaving the other, the other um, ones through. So the first row goes kind of really quick. And then the next row, it's really important to start. So if this one was under, this one goes over. And this is where it gets a little more difficult and you gotta poke your finger through. So go through and then flip it over and look at the other side. And then it goes under, over, flip it over, under, Oh, I got stuck on my stick. Over. I can see the back side. Don't lose your back side. Don't forget it, otherwise you won't have a weave that goes all the way through your piece. Under. Over. Under. Over. Under. Over. Under. Over. Okay. So yeah, I think I would benefit from making sure that my um, my strands are long enough. So I might need to turn my bag in the opposite direction the long way. This one pulled out a little bit while I was working, which is fine. So let's see, something's wrong here. Okay, I can fix that. Under, over, under over and I'm rushing because I don't want to do too long of a video for you okay so you start to even see it already then we'll go to the next strand and so I'm gonna go on the opposite side of my first strand so I'm gonna start under and I look closely and let's see over under over to make sure I'm to the left of my first strip and that I don't cross it. Under, over, under, over, under. This one keeps coming out, that's okay. So this is over, under. Going towards the top, it gets a little hard because it's so loose. So just as long as I get my base established, you can already see I'm establishing my base. Um, since we're doing this, we can talk about the fact that we are recycling, reusing, and repurposing materials, bags from the supermarket and whatnot. And also we had um, Earth Day on the 22nd. And this is, uh, we honor the earth this whole month. Um, so it's a nice time to repurpose, recycle, reuse, reduce. Uh, especially since we're at home and we maybe don't have all the supplies that we would love to have. We can't just run to the store and get what, what, whatever we want. And sometimes, really, I want stuff a lot, but I just don't have the money to buy whatever I want. So I get to be a creative problem solver. So um, it's a really cool way to use the resources that are around you. And then sort of grab the ends of all three of these and pull it up and down and scooch them close to each other so you can start to see your weave. Um, the other thing we can talk about are the uh, indigenous populations of people who live here in Minnesota. And um, I think there's about 11 tribes and um, the Dakota, the Sioux, the Ojibwe, um, to name a few. And um, a lot of the artwork that we see for them were the clothing, um, pottery. So they were utilitarian. They were things that they actually needed to use. They weren't just art for art's sake, but they were beautiful works of art that were used um, for cooking, for a purpose, for clothing, uh, for ceremony. And a lot of the work that you'll see, the artwork, is in textiles, which means fabric arts. And um, so they did beautiful work. So uh, if you ever get a chance to look at that stuff, or maybe when you were at the uh, History Museum, you remember seeing some of those things. Um, the lovely, beautiful detail, beading and weaving, specifically of the Dakota, which is our largest uh, indigenous population right here in Minnesota. 
So you can see I'm continuing to go over, under, over, under, over, under, and I don't want to do a super long video, but in the end, you can untie this and wrap it around and bind it here. And I like to leave these kind of flailing at the top. I think it looks really great. And um, I hope you have a super fun time doing your weaving. And um, I set up my camera outside, so feel free to sit outside and do it. Uh, it can be very messy. Make sure you collect all your plastics. I have mine all in a bucket here, um, my extra plastic. And make sure you clean up your mess, whether you're inside or out, so we're not littering and... Um, upsetting people or the environment. All right. Much love. Hope you have fun with this extra activity. Bye.